is it this house? I don't know where it is. It is this house. <laughs> there it is. I see it. Five hundred. Thank you so much. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Alright. So just at the edge. Yeah, somewhere close to the middle. Does it have brakes? Okay. <laughs> we didn't check that first. Let's do like a, a loop around like that. Yes, sir. Don't push her on the pellet. You're gonna... Oh, not very good brakes. The brakes are medium good. This is like the quickest car purchase I think I've ever witnessed because we found this car on Facebook Marketplace this morning for $500. Went and met with the lady like two or three hours later uh, bought the car, drove back here, had a tow truck pick it up, and he was here within, I feel like, an hour of you calling him. And uh, it's now the evening after work. We're about to put it up in the air and see what sort of madness we can find underneath the car. What? The screws. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's... Uh, so he was telling me that there was a fueling problem. Actually, okay, you got to hear what this guy told me. Okay, so we're standing right here like this, right? And he's like... Man, I've been trying to been trying to fix this thing. I think it's got a fueling issue of some sort. And he's like pointing around here. And he goes, I've been doing this for 30 years. And then I look over here and I see that the wires are swapped. Two is on four, four is on three, and three is on two. And I'm like, that's probably part of your problem. And yeah, there's wood screws going into the fuel pressure regulator. All right, how many fluid leaks does this car have? I spy with my little eye, a uh, tear in the CV boot. That's oh, fine. I say a tear, it's torn open. Oh. What you got? Is that, yeah, that looks, it's grease. Mm, yep, CV boot there. This ain't nothing we can't fix. Oil leak, pretty pretty severe oil leak there. Oh, God. What? What? Oh, bent control arm. That's yeah, that, um, actually the tow truck may have just done that. Like just, just now. Well, he did it from the front. Oh, that's right. They didn't strap it. So yeah, when this thing was towed last time, the tow truck drivers like to just uh, hook around these and yank the cars down onto the trucks with them, and then it bends those control arms. Oh, what? <laughs> oh no! It's been victimized. Oh, that's sad. That's that's why it makes such a good noise when you try to turn it over. It's like because it's got no cat on it. All right, we're having a discussion. Um, I heard this cranking over earlier at the place where we bought it from and it definitely sounds like it makes compression on a total of three cylinders and that's a problem because it has four of them. Um, Amir thinks that that's not conclusive of needing an engine. It's fine. I want to tell him that lack of compression in one cylinder will definitely cause a rough running issue. Um, but we also never got it to fire at all at the place where we were cranking it over at. So I think what we're going to do now is see if we can't diagnose the firing issue. Um, see if we can get it to run because it will, it should be able to run on three cylinders. Um, I think task number one is going to be trying to sort out fueling and try to get fuel to the engine because it sounded like it was not even trying. That's what we're going to do now. She's adding oil. I've found a sensor that's unplugged. All right, do it. Let's see what happens. Yep. Let's see if she's got fuel. Yeah, there is no fuel in that rail. So we have a fuel pressure problem. Here's my thought. I want to verify that the car is sending power to the fuel pump relay. And if it is, uh, just to bypass it, I'm going to jump the fuel pump relay and give the fuel pump power all the time. 
and see if I can't hear it click on and whine. I heard the fuel pump come on. I heard something click up there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen, that's a... Uh... That's exciting. That Ooh, pop. You can smell it. Ooh. What was that? That, that was... sound of like seized internals. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna look at the pulleys. Okay. What's thinking oil? It's not oil pan, is it? Is it? I don't think it is. Did we throw a rod through the wall? It's coming through the compressor area. Well, we found it. We found a big problem. Where is it? Right there. There's a hole in the oil pan. It's not a good look. You got a magnet? <laughs> that right there. Wow, you're like the car surgeon. Yeah, this is like operation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's right there. I can grab it. Go fishing. Oh my God! That's what happened. So it like it grenaded it. It grenaded itself. It came apart, and it's not supposed. To. Oh my God! That's the top of a piston. Here's your wrist pin, bro. There's the uh, that's the one of the, the oil control ring. I think. Yeah. Colin? That's a snapped rod bolt. That's fun. There's the middle of the rod. This broke in so many different places. Wow. This is actually really cool. Uh, oh, oh my God. It literally Wow. What? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this motor is not salvageable. I don't know. I, oh, God. It's Amir, not round. All of these. Oh, God. All of these parts have been banged around so many times in this engine that that cylinder is going to be destroyed. We'll take it apart. We will. Because it'll be an interesting thing to see. Nope. That's the other half of the rod. So we can kind of puzzle that together. Uh -huh. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at you, you already solving it so quickly. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a big piece missing. It might still be up in there. Oh my God, Colin. Uh -huh. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like the little kid videos where they are like, you don't know what you're gonna get inside of this little egg. But only car that's, piston edition. That's, oh, hold on. Wrist pin sleeve. It's. I wonder what it sounded like. Oh yeah, we're missing the bottom half of the oh. piston. Cause this sits in there, it rotates like that. There's nothing really interesting else. I'm just getting the... Well, we're in anger garbage. Oh, actually, there's a lot of shavings. For like cylinder wall? 
Wow, that is beautiful contemporary art. It is. Is that cylinder wall? Probably. We could bore it like 30 over. That's a restriction right there. The crank got damaged. Pretty, uh, it's pretty mangled. All right, well, that was fun to see, but you know in the end we're not going to use that block because it's just, it's too torn up. Those motors are cheap enough. It's not worth risking using it. Um, in the end, I gave Amir my block that I had from my old uh, red parts car that you saw a while ago. And um, we were also, so here's the thing. The plan was this blue car, which is in this condition now, uh, the goal was to make this Amir's Sunday Cup car to kind of mimic and uh, give, mimic my track car and give him something that he could compete alongside me with. But what happened was it turned out that car was just a little too rough for us to uh, want to justify fixing up. And we also found a non-sunroof car that was better in just about every way. So we got a good head off of this car. We got a good transmission out of this car. Um, we got some odds and ends, little bits that we can use. So it's not a total loss. And in the end, we're gonna take uh, the block that I gave him with this remanufactured head that we got off of the junk motor. Um, we're gonna put these two together to make a Sunday Cup motor for Amir's car. We also went to the junkyard recently and we picked up a full engine and drivetrain, uh, engine and transmission pair there for any future projects. And we also have another spare transmission here. So we've got enough here for two Sunday Cup builds um, if we really wanted to go that far. Um, this is really exciting because I'm, I'm happy to be getting Amir into the racing thing that I've been doing and enjoying. So he will be joining me in the future. Um, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for all the support you've shown me recently. I know you really liked that uh, video about Heartland and it's sad that it closed, but I got a lot of good feedback about that video. So. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun stuff that helps me. It helps you in the end, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace.